there's all this sort of stuff that goes around making a Bond movie. The expectation, you know, we made a very successful movie last time and everybody's going to be looking to this one to see what the outcome is. And that puts a lot of pressure on a director. I know it puts a lot of pressure on me, but our only criteria was that we've just got to make a good movie that, you know, we can look back in 10 years' time and sort of go, um, we're very proud of it. You set the tone as a director, you try to create the magic, but then the vision of the film as you set it, you know, the location you choose, the casting you do, and how you work with the actor suddenly overtakes you and becomes alive, and you almost flow within that. His real ability is storytelling. Having somebody at the helm who's controlling how we emotionally enjoy the movie is, um, is, is a big weight off my mind. Working with Mark has just been brilliant. He lets you do what you do as an actor, which makes you feel kind of confident and you can really put your own little mark on, on things. We are teachers on sabbatical. This fits our cover. No, it doesn't, get it? It's a James Bond film, but it's a Mark Forster film also. Anything can happen. You know, this sort of, the work is alive yeah, and fresh. Please don't talk like if I'm stupid. He just has, you know, I can imagine how much pressure he has because he's the director and he is just... He's always been so calm. Mark is the type of director who likes to get it out of the studio, uh, go to real locations to capture the atmosphere there and work at the real locations. You have this enormity of, of different locations, of action, of all these things to do and, and, to, and to achieve in a certain amount of time. And you just have to take it step by step. I'm not really thinking about the, the end. I'm thinking about the moment I'm shooting today. I'm incredibly excited about what we've done. I look at the trailer which we've just finished. I think we've got something really special.